Hello friends, this video is about realloc function in C. So we'll see how to use that and uh, what is the correct way to use that. Okay, so before that, we know what is malloc and calloc. Like malloc is used to create dynamic memory for you, right? So when you already created some dynamic memory using malloc, like this, let's suppose uh, there is some integer pointer and you created some memory for that from malloc okay let's suppose you created two slots so you know that this pointer will hold the address which will be pointing to two blocks of integers okay so this is nothing but an array of two size like this arr we create of size two right so this is similar to this one only but the only difference is you are creating this as dynamically okay so the memory is coming from heap not from the stack okay now the the point is you can change the dynamically created memory size at runtime okay and that's where the real alloc comes so as we can see here you are having this ptr of two size so that you can store zeroth location let's suppose you are storing one and at first location you are storing two okay that's it and if you will print that you will get it as it is okay and PDR, you get one okay sorry two so up to this it is clear now from here we will be talking about realloc okay let's suppose you want to increase the size of this PDR. Then what? In that case, you call new PDR is equal to realloc. Give the old pointer and the size. Size of integer times three or four. So before this pointer was holding two dynamically created memory addresses. I mean the area. Now it will hold four. Okay. So what this realloc is doing, it is taking the old pointer, which is this one, and resizing it, whatever the size we are giving here. Okay. And giving a new pointer here. Now, if you print zero and one of new pointer, that would be same. New underscore p. Okay. So we'll compile this and we'll check that. There is no compilation error. 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is 1, 2. This is another 1, 2. Now you can store second position as well. Okay. Like this. And third position. Okay. Like this. So now you will be able to access extra memory what you got from realloc. And uh, the point is you should not use this old pointer after this realloc function because using that may create problem for you okay because realloc takes the old pointer wait a minute i'll explain with the diagram here first we'll see that we are getting whatever we thought we should get okay so let's compile this again and see this is one two this one two is related to this one now one two three four okay so we have successfully increased the size of the pointer here. Now let's try to understand the behavior of realloc. So the whole idea is this. You are having this dynamically available memory. I mean dynamic memory which is nothing but a heap area. And when you created this PTR here of size 2. Then you got let's suppose some area. Okay. And if it is 2 then you got 0 and 1 for you. Let's suppose it works like this. It doesn't work like this, but let's keep it more simple here to understand the functionality of this realloc. Okay. And you assigned everything and you just printed. So everything is fine here. Now you're resizing that pointer with the size of four times integer. Okay. Now what will happen is as this is pointing to PTR, we will take the copy of the content. So what is the content here? The content is 1 and 2. 
okay to some another point see we are having this new PDR here so realloc will take this like PDR and realloc knows what is the size of the PDR okay so if you have given increased size I mean the new pointer is the bigger one like this one we have in our case in that situation it will copy this one here one and two like this and it will keep these two uninitialized it won't touch that and this PTR let's suppose this one is 0 cross F and F this pointer will be returned to this new PTR here okay and after doing this realloc does one more thing it deallocates this memory here and deallocation means it will tell to the computer that we are no longer using this memory you can use this memory for other purposes okay so this memory is free now even though the content might be still present on the memory area okay but operating system knows that I can reuse this memory okay because how this heap is maintained there are few ways I'll tell you one way like uh, as I told you that 0 cross FF is this new pointer then heap will make the entry of this PTR inside it there is one list heap list let's suppose this is heap list this list will contain how many memory is occupied okay so this PTR was occupied and then this new PTR is occupied now what you're telling I am freeing this PTR in that situation it will remove the PTR entry from the list okay so whenever you are giving some malloc next time in your program somewhere here it might give you this memory again okay or this memory can be used for other purposes but the point is this memory is free now the only available area is this much okay and you see I have initialized 3 and 4 to new so this 3 and 4 will come here okay so what we saw here is we had some pointer of two size we wanted to change the size of that so we gave it to the realloc function here that realloc gave me the bigger size by copying the old one to the new one okay and lastly my old pointer was deallocated so now you are not supposed to free this particular pointer okay this pointer is already freed you don't need to worry about that but you know what let's suppose you are reallocating 10 or 15 times then how many new pointers will be created I mean you won't be going and creating all the time some new variable like this one new PTR new PTR so in that case you can do one more thing we can just simply assign new PTR to the old PTR and we will be good to go with the old PTR no problem at all because you have initialized the pointer to the old one okay I mean the new pointer to the old one so if you will compile this there won't be any issue here okay see and uh, I think we don't need to create this at all we can just simply write this PTR and we are done here okay so let's compile this as well oh what a crap okay we are having this issue here and, uh, let's compile this there's no issue see there's no problem at all so instead of creating new pointer new pointer all the time because you might be reallocating your memory 10 to 15 or 1000 times then you won't be writing that PTR new 1, PTR new 2, PTR new 3 or something that many times so what you will do you will pass the pointer that pointer will be copied to the new pointer bigger or smaller size okay and that new pointer will be returned and you are assigning that to the PTR itself and this PTR was freed so that's how this realloc work don't think that you can only increase the size you can decrease as well now it is two here you can make it one as well okay 
the only point would be only one location of old pointer will be copied to the new pointer because you are creating only one size okay so that's it i think we are done here if i miss out something please comment and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button i'll see you in the next video